Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Studio 33 Art by Kay. Today what I'd like to be doing is something a little bit different. Um, over the next few weeks I'll probably be doing quite a lot of things on ceramic tile. And the purpose being that, um, believe it or not, we're halfway to Christmas just about. So starting to make um, things for presents, etc. And a tile, a ceramic tile is a really great way of um, being able to do that. The canvases are wonderful, but I find with the tiles, they just make such great gifts. Recently, I have um, discovered a resin because I resin my tiles after I've um, painted them after they dry and I've actually found one finally that has uh, heat resistance up to 200 degrees that's the stone coat countertops um, art resin and it also has a high UV rating so your pieces can be outside and um, they won't be too badly affected by the UV rays so most of the other uh, resins I've come across um, only have a heat resistance up to about 50 degrees centigrade which is about the heat of a warm cup of coffee or a hot cup of coffee um, but I really wanted to be able to have something where you could put something from the stove onto it so it's a true trivet um, so the stone coat does that if any of you know of any other brand of um, resin that has a, a greater heat resistance or a great heat resistance up to that um, I'd love to know about it if you could put it in the comments that'd be great okay so today what I'm trying to do is I would like to um, pour on this 200 millimeter by 200 millimeter tile it's a white ceramic tile it is gloss it doesn't have to be gloss as long as it's smooth uh, and I'm going to create um, a ring pour that'll look hopefully like water then I'm going to do some little lily pads and put some little lily flowers on there. Haven't done this one before, so let's hope it works out. If it doesn't, you'll know what not to do. So let's go. So today I won't go through all the um, paint colors that we're going to put on um, because there's so many, uh, but I will list them all in the description box. To get to the description box, if you're on your phone or if you're on um, your laptop or your computer, if you just click on the title at the top of the video on the title, that will drop down the um, description box. Also, there's a little V to the side, and if you click on that, that also does. As far as being on your main TV, uh, you can't really see the description box as far as I know. Again, if I'm wrong with that, if anyone could let me know. So the base today is um, going to be the Araldo Silver Cloud. Now all my paints are mixed only with Australian Floetrol. I use Australian Floetrol as my pouring medium. I also use it as my cell activator. Um, and I don't use normally any other thing. I don't use house paint or any of those. Some people do and that's fine. Um, no problem with that. They get great results. Uh, but I've found this is what works best for me. I'm just trying to keep it as simple and easy for myself as possible. And um, just having the flow troll and, having, and being able to just use that just works great for me. I believe the American flow troll is just a bit thicker than the Australian flow troll. And the people that I've watched um, using it just have been adding a little bit of water just to, to make it a bit more fluid. So here we go. I'm just going to put down a little bit of a base not much and that's just to help the um, paint flow you don't have to when you're doing a ring pour um, because you're probably going to lay down enough paint anyway but i just wanted to make sure it was going to flow for me so i'm just doing a very very thin layer of base paint and i also am hoping that some of the white this white is actually called silver cloud um, may come through as well so you don't always have to do a base coat if you've got plenty of paint going to be laid down. But today I'll just do this very, very thin base. Okay. So now I'm just going to layer the blues into a cup. I'm just using these um, biodegradable cups. They've got the green line. In Australia, they're not going to be making the um, throwaway uh, plastic cups anymore soon they're going to be um, taking them off the market being replaced by these biodegradable ones which is great 
they can still be um, washed out and uh, used again. So, um, but if they do get thrown out, they will break down in the environment. So the colors I'm gonna do for my um, base are the um, Harbour Night first, then I'm going to put the metallic cyan, cool blue, followed by metallic blue. Now the colour that you put in first into your cup is going to be the one that's going to come out last. So the colour you want to be the most dominant, you should put in first. So in this case, I'm going to be putting the global um, blue here. Now I did do a test on a piece of paper off, um, off screen just to work out the thickness of the paints. And I've done these to the thickness of when I dribbled, drizzled it back in off the stick um, that the paint stayed on the surface for about three seconds. Okay, now I'm not gonna need much more than that because it's only a 20 by 20 tile. I do get carried away sometimes. Um, people ask how much paint do you need I just eyeball it but there are lots of um, great information on YouTube or on um, when you google it as to um, how much you need and there's all sorts of different calculators on there from different um, people about how much you use so I'm just going to literally start pouring into the center in a circular motion So when you pour your paints into a cup like I just did, that's called a dirty pour because you've put all the colours into the cup together. If I was applying the colours separately to the tile individually, that would be called a clean pour. So I'm just doing this now. Now there's going to be quite a bit of runoff so I will pour that into a cup and I can use that for a base for something else. Now again, I just put the base down today just to help these edges run. Um, sometimes if you're just putting it straight on there, that could be a little bit of resistance. Doesn't really matter. Okay, I'm not going off the center there a little bit. So this is to create what hopefully will look like water. And then just watch your drip. Take it off. Okay, so I'm just going to tip anything extra that I get off when I'm tip tilting this um, back into the cup. So just tilt to the one side until you get to the corner. Hopefully I'm on the screen still. Take it back. And then quickly tilt to the other side. Not getting too much of it in the cup, I've got to say. Okay, and then quickly tip this side. Back to the center. Oh, I think that's looking like water to me. And then just quickly tilting off this side as well. Right. And then back to the center. Sorry, I've probably gone off screen there at some point. Okay. Now. Okay. So there's our base down. Hopefully that's looking like um, water. And I'm just going to scrape up some of this paint so that it's not going to go flying everywhere when I spin. Right, so now I'm going to put on um, some little leaves for my little lily pads. Just randomly placed them around.
who knows what this is going to turn out like but we'll just have to wait and see okay and then just some black cell activator onto there each of those with my leaves i like to sort of just put the cell activator to the bottom and then blow them out i find that gives them more of a leaf shape Hope everyone's um, been staying safe in these unprecedented times. I just went and had my COVID vaccine, the first one yesterday. I'm coping quite well. That's good. I'm still here. Okay, so I'm just going to blow these out now. Today, I'm just going to use, because it's a small piece, I just want to um, blow them out quite differently. So I want them to be quite detailed. So I'm just using a paper straw, which I've flattened out the end. So hopefully you can see, it just gives a little flat opening. And I'll gently now blow these out. I'll speed this bit up for you though. There's my cute little lily pads. Hopefully that's what they'll look like. Okay, so now I'm going to put on the colors. And just randomly place them just to the edge of the lily pad. I'm not sure what this is gonna look like, but we will find out, no doubt. And a little bit of gold. I'd just love to have a little bit of gold or copper or bronze or anything like that. Okay, these are our little lilies down on our water. And now I'm going to um, get the cell activator and put that on and then blow them out just very gently because I want them to be looking like little lilies, not like big blooms. Oops, I forgot to put the gold on there. Never mind. Put it to the side, show up. Now this cell activator is just global black paint mixed with Australian Floetrol, about a one to four consistency. And so now I'm just gonna pick up my straw again and just gently blow these out. Okay, so there's all my little lilies in their 
little um, pond. So we should get the usual wooden skewer and just draw the shape in. Just make sure you wipe the skewer each time. I think these are going to look really cute, I hope. Okay, so how's that looking? Interesting, <laughs> to say the least. Right, so now I'm just going to spin that out a little bit because I've got quite a lot of paint on there. Um, on reflection, or upon reflection, I'm sort of wishing that I hadn't put any base down underneath the um, ring pour um, because I think I've ended up with too much paint on there. So if you're going to try and duplicate something like this, don't put any base colour down. Just do your ring pour straight onto the clear tile um, because I do believe I've got too much paint on here and I didn't really need to have done that. It's all trial and error. Now I'm just seeing a few little spots there that I don't like. So I'm just giving them a light dab to get rid of them. Bit of paint splattered. So now I'm just going to gently, I don't want them to get um, spread too much, so I'm just going to gently do a gentle spin. Oh, I'll just keep spinning because I really need to get some paint off. Right. Do they look like lilies on a pond? I don't know. That's quite pretty. Just lift that up, give it a slight tilt over this way. I just want to bring that one over to the corner more. So I'm not sure I'm absolutely loving the composition. Maybe do a little wreck through. Or maybe leave it. Let's draw some more flower petals in, I think. I feel like I just need something over here where those ones have run off. Um, so I'll put a bit of this pink one on again. I'm liking the pink on there with the yellow. So I'll just put a little one over here. Right, so I think I'll um, do a tiny little balloon smash in the middle. I'm not loving the way I've done the little swirly bits. So I just want a very small balloon. So here, I'm just going to dab it slightly, just ever so gently into the middle there. And I just love the, um, 
the way the balloon work just gives that nice little center to the flowers. Okay, well, I think we'll leave it there. Um, the idea is right. So, um, hopefully you like it. Um, it gives you a starting point for something that you can create. Um, just hit it with the heat. One. Make sure I've burst any bubbles. Haven't got a lot of cells going on here, I think because they were so small. A um, little bit of cell activity here. A few little bits there. So that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you would please subscribe to my channel, that would be fantastic. And thanks to everyone who has so far. Uh, it gives me lots of encouragement to keep on going um, and showing you how I'm doing these various pieces. Uh, hopefully you've loved it and would like to give me the thumbs up. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. So we'll see you all again soon. Bye. Okay, so I'll just take you down for a close-up. I've just added one more here. The one that was there had sort of disappeared. Um, so I just added that one in. And we'll come down and have a look. I think they are quite lovely. Not many cells in them. But with the um, ring pour as the background making the pool, it's actually does look quite nice. So there you go, guys. That's um, it for this one.